In this video, I will show you modern defense, um, how to play modern defense for black. If you ask question, how to react to white's uh, e4, uh, probably many of you will play against e4, will play c c5, Sicilian defense, e6, French defense, c6, Karokan, e5 spanish defense but if you if we play g6 have you ever considered playing modern defense playing g6 i will show you why why you can do this um let me explain few few variations so you can see move by move usually after e E4, G6, white will continue development by move uh, D4, which, why, which one is perfect. White will occupy the center. So we just play bishop to G7. What is our idea? Our idea is to let white control the center and then we will attack the next move for white usually knight c3 and now it's a big surprise we play c6 many players will expect d6 instead of c6 you might surprise them with this opening the most natural move is knight f3 and then we attack the center by advance our pawn to d5 and let me show you a few variations like very natural move for white will be to advance pawn to e5 and then we develop our bishop to g4 we attack the knight on f3 so white will protect bishop by knight by moving bishop to e2 now we move our pawn to e6 if white castle we move our knight to e7 and you guys see that our there is nothing wrong with our position we white is not checkmating us uh, after <laughs> four or five moves um the game can continue like h3 of course we take by white take and now this is our idea this is why we can give up the center in our first second move because now we attacking now is our turn to attack for example if if they move, if they take, then of course, knight b8 to c6. And you can see what's going on. Uh, pawn on e5 will be lost. This pawn on c5 is weak. We can attack by moving queen to a5 or rook to c8. So you guys see. And our position is is good what's happen if white will play different let's say let's go back now instead of advance white can play bishop to e3 we can continue bishop to g4 they will advance now, probably. So then we stick to our plan. Pawn to e6. If they chase our bishop by h3, then we take, queen take, and once again, we develop our knight to e7. If they continue bishop to d3, then again, it's our plan, the same story c6 c5 knight castle 
if they move pawn to c3 to support d4, then of course we take, white take, and now we can move our queen to b6, and our idea is to advance pawn from a7 to a6, and then pawn on uh, b2 will be lost. Let's say the white will play different. If instead of advance, instead of move bishop, they will take our pawn on d5, then we take, white will continue development with bishop to e2, we move knight to c6. Why? We put pressure. We, we develop our piece and the same time we put pressure on d4. Castle, now bishop. Of course, they, they protect this pawn because we attack knight. We stick to our plan, e6. If they chase our bishop, then take, take, and again, knight g8 to e7. If white will move queen, then knight has perfect spot on f5, is attacking e3, d4, and also can go to h4 to attack bishop on f3. So there is many, many possibilities in this play. If white will, instead of develop bishop to uh, e2, let's say the white will give us check <coughs> on b5. So we just play exactly the same. We move our knight to c6. We develop piece with black check, we black this bishop. And if they castle, then once again, bishop to g4, and then e6. You guys see that our plan, if, if h3, then take, queen take, and again, knight to e7. If rook, then castle. So our play is like very, very simple. We, we just stick to the plan. Uh, what's happening if white will play differently? We play different. Instead of take on d5, instead of advance, we play h3. Then we can attack this pawn on e4 with our knight from f6. So now they have, um, they have option to take on d5. Of course, we take with our pawn and there is nothing wrong in our position. So probably white will advance pawn to attack our knight because if we go to uh, d7 or g8, it will be knight will be bad place. So what we prefer is to advance our knight to e4. If knight takes, pawn takes, now, if what it probably looks like the best move for white is knight g5. But after that move, we have our surprise move. c5. When you play modern defense, you have to remember this very, very tricky move, c6 to c5. This move will let you fight with the white uh, center. If, if white move uh, advance a pawn to d5, we lose pawn on e5, we give check, then we can block the check, and if move bishop here, then the best for black is to make castle. And now, if they 
push pawn to e6, we just move our pawn to f6. And if white takes, now you think that uh, our position is, is bad? No, it's not. See this move, b5. If, if white, let's say the white take, then of course we can, we can give check here on a5, but it's not strong. We can take pawn on d4, or we can play simple f5. And now, if knight will take pawn on c5, now it's check and white will lose a uh, bishop. Or, or if white will move knight to c3, then, of course, we move our pawn from c5 to d4, so black will be winner. Uh, let's go back to our original position. So I want you guys to learn this, not to memorize, but to play few times so you can see what is this modern defense about. Let me show you now how 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 to play if white will be will play aggressive not like before knight f3 if white will play f4 after f4 of course we stick to to the plan we attack the center by d5 if they advance pawn then i recommend h5 we can control g4 square and if they move knight to f3 probably you know our next move of course bishop to g4 we we attack the knight if they develop pieces like bishop to e3 then we develop our knight to f6, knight is going to f5 square, is attacking bishop on e3, so they need to, of course, uh, remove to some uh, safe place like f2, and then e6. If h3, the same like uh, previous variations, we take on f3, white will take with bishop, and then we play h4 so this is exactly what you should remember when when white plays f4 we react and we play h5 and then it will be very very important to to advance our pawn to h4 why because we're preventing white of playing g4 If they move queen, this is our surprise move. We move our bishop back to f8 square. Why? We will prepare to attack on queen side. Or we we can of course we can also put our bishop to e7 and this pawn on h4 will be protected by rook, knight, bishop, and queen. If they castle, then we move knight to d7, and we are ready to attack by, to move queen to a5 square and continue attack on uh, queen side. If white will play after h5, instead of knight, we play h3, looks like white is stopping us from playing uh, bishop g4 then we develop our knight to h6 bishop d3 and then knight to f5 now knight is attacking a pawn on d4 and is also attacking squares on e3 g3 and h4 
So this is very natural move for white to move knight to e2 or f3. But if knight will go to f3, we can jump to g3. That's why it's better to e2. So knight will, will protect pawn d4 and square on g3. Uh, so we advance our pawn to h4, so we prevent white from playing g4. If they castle, then we move our pawn to e6 to protect this knight and to finish our uh, fortress. If, if bishop will take, then we always take with g pawn, not with e, with g. The game can continue. For example, white will play uh, bishop e3 and then bishop f8. If queen moves, then b6 and we, for example, rook and then bishop to a six now this bishop is is in the play it's in the game looks like it was bad bishop because it was black we couldn't trade for knight on f3 but now on a6 this bishop can actually play um, if white will play different move number six if we we'll play for example bishop to d3 then we continue knight h6 knight f3 which one will allow us to play bishop g4 and after h3 we take knight on a f3 queen takes and then e6 E6 will uh, prevent white from playing F5 and G4. After uh, Bishop E3, then we play H4 like in other variations. And if uh, castle, then knight. And the same story, bishop to f8. So this is easy to remember. How is our setup? Our setup is always like the same. That knight goes to f5, this pawn h5, h4, and we put wall of pawns g6, f7, g, e6, d5, and c6, and later the c6 pawn will advance to c5. So you already learn um, how to play modern defense if white will play let's see if white will play knight f3 or if white will play f4. Whatever happened doesn't matter what white will play. If play knight and advance, remember that our idea is to play sooner or later move c5. This is the point of our system of modern defense. We let white control the center. White can even advance, but our idea is to play c5 to destroy the center. So I need you to play some games, play, play online. Uh, doesn't matter the score. You just need to learn how to play. If you have any questions, just please leave the comments and I will be more than happy to help you. Thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe.